Hi children, welcome back. I hope you all are really enjoying these all videos. Uh, so in this video, we are going to discuss the the topic name is parts of the plant. You have I think second or third lesson for your uh, topic. We know already what are the parts of the plants, right? How the, how do the plant is going to look? What are the different parts of the plants? We know already. Then in the parts one by one we will see first one we give most importance for the root part of the plant because uh, without roots plants are nothing plants are not at all going to live roots are most important again in the root we have two types one is tap root and another one is fibrous root as i have drawn you on the board tap root means there will be a long thick and very strong main branch will be there and then uh, like this side very uh, thin and soft like this branches will be there this type of roots are called as tap root for example uh, the mage the jowar um, the spinach okay uh, like this tree, trees have uh, the tap root even the neem tree mango tree coconut sorry mango tree neem tree these all have the tap root another one extra characteristics of this tap root is this will be very strong main branch will be very strong and they will go very deeper into the soil so they can hold the whole tree then it this is called as the tap root then fibrous me, uh, root means from the main branch from here this is ground part this these all are under the ground a uh, tap root is from main branch we have small small branches very soft and thin branches we have but in the fibrous root from the ground level from the ground level we have many branches from this part from where the root start from this part only we have many branches like this Okay, we have many branches and uh, multiple branches we have and uh, compared to this one these are not, a, not at all strong there is no main branch for this and these are very um, I mean they are soft and thin just like a fibers like, just like a fibers and they will not go very deep into the soil for example grass and um, um, and uh, so we have no coconut tree grass so like this we have and uh, some other um, vegetables uh, they all have the fibrous root they have many di different branches and there is no branch all are same at a time and they will hold the uh, this one uh, wheat uh, plant and um, some other plants they have the fibrous root then how do these roots are going to help for the plant see children as we know that roots hold the plant there is no root there is no plant plant cannot stand like this strand straight and then roots will help to pass the water and minerals from the soil they will suck the water and minerals from the soil and they will pass to the um, the whole part of the plant body and they are going to be just like a supportive for the plant so they that they, they can plant can stand very straight and they, they will pass the water, minerals and some other salts from the uh, this one uh, soil. And even roots will help to in the reproduction. Uh, through the roots another plant may grow. The same plant may grow. This is how the roots are going to help to the plants. Other than this we have some vegetables like carrot, radish, beetroot. Even roots can store the food inside them. For example, carrot. We see the carrot. Carrot will come the root part of the plant. Radish will come root part of the plant. Then beetroot will come root part of the plant. Then what are these? These are the vegetables. Vegetables nothing but these are the food part of the plant. They have stored extra food. They have stored under the root. So we are taking those vegetables and eating for our health. So this is how the root is going to help. Next part after root we have the stem part. We know that stem means almost all type of plants have the stem. That is trees have the stem, herbs have the stem, um, 
The shrubs have the stem, creepers, climbers, almost all plants have the stem. Without stem, there is no plant. Stem acts as a skeleton, just like a skeleton, just like a backbone to the uh, plant. Uh, from the stem, there will be a branches to the leaf. There will be branches to the flower and the fruit. If there is no stem, there is no other branches of the plant. Stem acts as a trunk for the very thick trees. Neem tree, mango tree, banyan tree, ma, like this very thick, uh, strong trees. The trunk, uh, the stem is called as, as a trunk. And even for the creeper, uh, again the stem, climbers also stem, herbs, shrubs, uh, shrubs also stem we say. Uh, the, for in all these uh, types of plants, stem uh, acts as a main part of the plant and it acts uh, to hold the plant in the some uh, plants like wheat jowa some other trees the stem very strong and thick stem will help the plant to stand straight it will hold the plant other than this stem will help to pass the water stem will help to pass the food from one part that is which part from root part to the uh, tip of the plant or else it will help to from leaf part of the plant to the some other part more all other part of the plant this is how the stem help like just like a highway road it will pass from uh, the materials from one point to another point other than this, stem will support the plant, stem will give definite structure to the plant, stem will pass the food and water, stem will act as a supportive part of the plant. Other than this, even we have some stems like sweet potato, potato and the sugar cane. These all are the stem part of the plant. We are eating as a food material. Then other than uh, these all stem is going to store the food in that uh, it's a body. Uh, for example, sugar cane is a stem and um, we have potato is the stem and some other vegetables are also there. Those all are the stem. So this is how the stem is going to help to the plant. Children, I hope you all have understood whatever we have discussed in this video. And before ending this video, I will give you some uh, work. Write down the uh, functions of the stem. Next, write down how do root help the plant. How do roots help the plant. I hope you will do this homework. And in the next video, we will continue the next part of this lesson. I hope you will do the homework and you will enjoy the video. And uh, let us meet in the next video. Till then, take care of yourself and bye-bye.